Welcome back on the Space Info YouTube channel. It's Tom speaking and today you'll see what's inside the latest edition of the Space Info Club magazine. Before starting don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the notification bell. It's free for you, but it means a lot for us. We want to say thank you to everyone who commented our latest video. Those comments were much appreciated and help us a lot improving our work. Now, let's start. Guest star of this edition is the Eried team, particularly engineer Kasuchi. We had the pleasure to ask him some questions about this powerful space program. So we want to thank him and all the Eried team for this great opportunity to see what's happening inside. But what's this project about? In the context of the Next Generation EU program, under which lies the Italian National Plan for Recovery and Resilience, the Italian government funded the Eried project. Upon its completion, in 2026, the constellation will be able to count on more than 60 satellites that will be able to observe Italy by exploiting a variety of observation techniques and the ability to completely cover the country with a daily observation frequency. Furthermore, flying over the planet in low Earth orbit, the ground sampling distance of the optical images will be around 2 meters. But this is only an introduction to what we are going to talk about. If you want to know more about how IRID will work in terms of space and ground segments as well as the technology of each satellite let us know in the comments below. Next topic of today. Apollo 13 mission, when human ingenuity and resilience triumphs over adversity. Launched on April 11, 1970, was meant to be the United States' third endeavor to land astronauts on the lunar surface. However, what transpired over the course of those fateful six days in April 1970 was a riveting saga of survival against the odds, transforming what could have been a catastrophic failure into a resounding triumph of human resolve. The story of Apollo 13 begins against the backdrop of the Cold War space race, a fierce competition between the United States and the Soviet Union for dominance in space exploration. By the late 1960s, NASA, the United States' premier space agency, had achieved remarkable success with the Apollo program. Apollo 11 had culminated in Neil Armstrong's historic first steps on the moon in July 1969. The world watched in awe as humanity took its first giant leap beyond Earth's confines. Two days into the mission, while coasting toward the moon, Apollo 13 encountered an unprecedented crisis. An oxygen tank in the service module, the spacecraft's primary source of life support, exploded. The explosion ruptured the spacecraft's delicate balance of power, oxygen, and propulsion systems, leaving the crew in a perilous predicament. Now stop for a minute. Have you always dreamt about rockets? Are you curious about their working principles? That's why we just created the Space Info Club course, Introduction to Rocketry. We designed the course for people who have never worked in the field and for everyone who is on the step towards his or her college. If you are going to start your path as an aerospace engineer or if you are deeply curious about rockets, this course is definitely for you. No prior knowledge is needed, at all. That's an introduction. You find all the details at the link in the description below. Let's get back to us. The universe is a vast expanse filled with billions upon billions of stars, each with its unique set of characteristics and behaviors. For astronomers, understanding these celestial bodies is a never-ending quest, and one of the most valuable tools in their toolkit is the Hertzsprung-Russell diagram. This seemingly simple chart has revolutionized our understanding of stars and their life cycles, providing astronomers with a stellar roadmap that has guided their research for over a century. So this is just a brief presentation of this edition's content. What are you waiting for? It's available for free at www.spaceinfo. Club enjoy it.